Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here, coming at you with 2022 Panini Donruss Baseball Hobby Box Edition. Eight box, pick your team number one, and if you buy, bought at least two teams to get that one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth, you've got a shot at winning three sealed boxes of uh, Donruss Baseball. It's coming from a different case. I've got those three right here, so someone's going to win those boxes. They're the, uh, they're the rules right here. Pick your team two is already up. Or actually, top three win a box each, actually. So even better, more chances to win. Um, also, no vet common ship, and all non-sports cards are going to be randomized. So that's just this group right here. It's the San Diego Chicken, who's actually not affiliated with the Padres. He's just from San Diego. And then Domingo Ayala, I think a uh, YouTube baseball guy. So all of these will be grouped as one lot, including relics and autos. All of those will be grouped as one lot and randomized to one person in the break. So, that being said, here's who's in the break. Big thanks to everybody here for making it happen. Pick your team number one, half case break. Last spot mojo went to Matt, who bought the Tampa Bay Rays. So appreciate that. Right, yeah, he got the Rays earlier today. Excellent. All right, now, it's a 16-box case, so let's see which half we're going to do. Eight on the left side, eight on the right side. So we're gonna roll the die. We'll select that nice Dodger blue die right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's one, so it's gonna be the left side. So this right side, we are gonna save for next time. Well, we, we might be able to run this back tonight. A little bit of luck. So we'll put X's on the uh, on the ends of each of those boxes so we know they're all from the same case. Tuck this away over here. My cabinet. And this might be a little bit of a longer break, ladies and gentlemen, so just settle in. So hopefully everyone's doing well. We're, we got a little basketball on the background. TJ, what's up? Yeah, Nats and Mets. And TJ's got the requisite two teams to try to uh, win a sealed box of this stuff as well. All right, so currently, we got a little bit of basketball on in the background. Sixers are in Miami. Heat are up by 10 at the moment, 44 to 34. And then we've got Dallas at Phoenix on uh, after this game. It's going to be tough for the tough for the Sixers without without the services of Joel Embiid. I think that's going to be a tough a tough time for them. We got hockey playoffs starting uh, tonight as well, today as well. And let's see, what about baseball scores? Uh, wow. Dylan Cease struck out 11 to match a career best and only gave up one hit over seven innings. White Sox beat the Angels 3-0. Cardinals from uh, making up a game from the 13th, April 13th. Cardinals shut out the Royals, one nothing. Stephen Matz with the win improves to three and one. Zach Greinke takes a loss, falls to zero and two, even though he has a 2.57 ERA. Gallegos with the save, fifth of the season. I think those are the only two finals. Other games in progress. Uh, Mariners Astros just just got started. They're in the middle of the first. Um, zero, zero. 
Mets in the middle of the fourth. The Mets are currently leading the Braves 2-1. In the bottom of the fourth, uh, Yankees are leading the Blue Jays 2-1. Uh, Blue Jays have a runner on second at the moment. In the middle of the fifth, Twins are ahead of the Orioles 1-0. And in the top of the fifth, Diamondbacks are ahead of the uh, Marlins 4-0. Good luck, everybody. So that commons don't ship, but that's an insert that'll ship. These are the commons that won't ship. Rated rookies obviously will ship. Numbered cards will ship. That Charlie Blackman is to 500. You know, inserts like this will ship. So just FYI on that, and obviously hits will ship. There's the hit list 999 Yuli Guriel. We're going to set those aside. We'll have our, just in the interest of time, it's kind of a long break. We're going to have our shipping team sleeve and top load those. That's to 2022. Josh Bell, that's an insert. That'll ship. There's Rhino to 2022 for the Cubs. The black and white Babe Ruth, that'll ship. And our first hit, a Wander Franco Relic. And that will be for, a little, little crooked in the top loader here, but it's secure. That'll be for Matt Eaton and the Rays, last spot mojo. Brooks Robinson to 50 for the O's. One of the one of the boss man's favorite players, maybe his the his favorite player. There's the Statue of Liberty pattern on the background. Jesus Sanchez having a solid year thus far. Garrett Cole dominators. Brendan Crawford in 2022. Max Muncy, Riley Adams, Jacob DeGrom to 2022, Bryce Harper to 2022, A nickname variation there for Mike Trout, Casey Mice. Trending Casey Mize to 9.99. We need him to get. I think he's been kind of throwing again. I got him on my fantasy team. I need need some contribution for him. Wait, what card was a big card? The whammy card? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with this product. So that's a case hit clinic thing. I got it, guys. Thank you. There we go. Nice. So that goes to Toronto. Jacob Glenn with the Blue Jays. Um, clinic, according to It's the Clinic, saying that's a $500 card. Good. Good eye, gang. Thank you. So that, that's, a, that's a one per case situation. Cal Quantrill, 2022. O'Neill Cruz rated rookie blue. There's Otto Lopez to 2022. There's Vlad again. And behind Brandon Lau is Kevin Smith, signature series autograph. 
Toronto Blue Jays. Another one for Jacob. And there's Brooks Robinson again to 2022. And I'll do a I'll do a autograph recap at the end of this as well. Autograph and hit recap. What about Bomb Squad? Is that short printed or is that more common? There's Tyler Maley to 46. It's Wander Franco rated rookie. Nando to 2022. And we've got AJ Alexi signature series for Texas. That's going to be for John. Oh, there is a number on it, so so pretty common. Wander Franco for the Rays. This bomb squad is one fifty eight to three forty nine. So. Those are a little more common. Clinic saying so. Bomb Squad is shorter printed and Marvels too. Those. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Good, good start. Next box. Second half could be a hot case. Then you get the short prints here, the big autos in the second half. This is not just about the case hit. So many cards in here. Could be could be a ton of one of ones on the other side. And if you buy at least two teams, you got a chance to win sealed boxes. I think the all the incentives are there. So the uh the rumors of side two, the rumors of its demise has been greatly exaggerated, Terry. Um, everyone see, I'm sure baseball fans, if you're in this break, you're probably a baseball fan. Uh, Mets, DFA, Robinson Cano. Which, uh, was a little surprising. I thought they'd, you know, I, you know, thought they'd let him, uh, kind of grind it out and figure it out, but, but he's out. I wonder, do uh, you think anyone picks him up? All right, next box. There's Kettle Marte Dominators. That is to $9.99. It's Pudge to $20.22. So Dodgers edition of Kenley Jansen there. Weird to see him in a uh, Braves uniform. Casianos. And we've got Mariano Rivera, 29 out of 99. You got a bit of the Yankees pinstripe up there too. Another great closer, Trevor Hoffman. Charlie Blackman to uh, 76. Yeah, I guess they do see more uh, upside with Guillaume and Dominic Smith. It's Jazz Chisholm to 2022. 
The Hit List to 349, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That's still Texas edition. Sweet Lou Brock to 500. Aaron Ashby to 2022. And we've got a... There's Pete Alonzo and there's Chaz McCormick for Houston. That will be for Nancy and the Astros. There you go, Nance. Be careful, Terry. Terry. Terry's under Tornado. Is it still Tornado Watch? Out there. Francisco Lindor to 2022. We got an unleashed 999 Bryce Harper for the Phillies. Jose Altuve to 2022. Jake Berger, Edward Cabrera. There's Miggy. Keeping it 100, out of 100 for the Tigers. And we got Jesus Lazardo is your autograph for the fish. That's Travis with the Miami Marlins. All right, I think both of you guys are in the Oklahoma area. I know TJ's for sure. He's in the Tulsa area. Careful out there, everybody. Brian Reynolds, the 2022. Colton Wong, the uh, Statue of Liberty parallel. There's Yuli Gurriel to 149. Luis Urias to 2022. Yastrzemski, Jake Myers. Yastrzemski again to 2022. And there's Doogie, Alex Verdugo. Second box of eight. Box three. Terry saying, good thing the storms will move through fast. All right, that's good, that's good. Otani's next start up in the according to ESPN. Otani's next start up in the air because of injury. Lopez Showalter suspended for Phillies actions. Miguel Sano lands on the Twins 10-day IL with a knee sprain. Vaccinated Yankees bring a full roster to Toronto. Reds put Jonathan India on the IL. Rangers outfielder Willie Calhoun, former Dodgers prospect, seeks trade after demotion. He got demoted too, huh? I don't know, now that the NL has a DH, I'm sure someone will want to pick up Willie Calhoun, stick him in a DH spot, and if he gets right, he could hit a lot of dingers. I don't know if there's any other, what other news is happening here. Twins promote Jose Miranda. Jose Miranda is, uh, I just learned this today, Jose Miranda, the Twins prospect, apparently he's pretty good, is Lin-Manuel Miranda's cousin. Some of you may know Lin-Manuel Miranda from like Hamilton and whatnot, if you're into that sort of thing. So there's some trivia for you. Impress your friends. Royals promote MJ Melendez. That's the uh, catching prospect, MJ Melendez. Possible future Salvador Perez. Although Salvador Perez doesn't look like he's quite done yet. But, I mean, they could, could stick Salvador Perez maybe in a DH spot or something like that. Extend his career. All right, next box, good luck. A 
Frank Ray, I think, had a nice start the other day. There's, uh, out of 2022, Wilson Contreras. We got Guerrero Jr. unleashed to 349. Tomei to 2022. Yeah, TJ saying Melendez is a stud, led the minors in home runs last year. There's a uh, Mondo to 400. Yeah, with Bobby Witt Jr., MJ Melendez, couple young guys there. There's the big hurt, Frank Thomas to 500. We got the hit list to 399, Freddie Freeman. That's still Braves edition there. Shane Bieber to 2022. Andre Jackson, who I think got option today, because I think rosters were cut down, right? To 26, there's Corey Seager, Rangers to 2022. And we've got a Brian De La Cruz, signature series autograph for Miami. That will be for Travis and the Fish. Marlins having a good season, right? All right. There's Andre Jackson to 2022. There's trending Austin Riley to 9.99 for the Braves. There's Edward Cabrera to 100. Freddie Freeman, Shane Boz, Julio Urias again to 2022. And we've got a Juan Yepes for the Cardinals, Calvin with the STL. Kershaw, 2022. Another unleashed parallel. I kind of like this. The big grizzly bear in the background. The babe to 249. Yankees. It's going to go to Justin. It's Kersh again to 2022. There's Yvonne Rodriguez. 2022 Rangers and we got an Aaron Judge relic piece of his jersey going to Justin and the Yankees John Means undergoes Tommy John surgery. Carlos Correa open to long-term deal with the Twins. Eloy Jimenez to miss six to eight weeks with a hamstring strain. Adalberto Monesi diagnosed with a torn ACL. Brady Singer option to AAA. Astros designate Pedro Baez for assignment. Uh, th this one stings just because he's on my fantasy team. Eddie Rosario to undergo procedure on right eye. I think he's getting some sort of LASIK. Could miss 8 to 12 weeks. And obviously his health is more important than my fantasy team, but first my fantasy team. Yeah, Twins are, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the standings. I know we're only a month or so into the season. But let's take a look at the standings. 
the Yankees have been on fire. They're 16 and six. They've won nine straight games. They're nine and one in their last 10. Blue Jays are 15 and eight. They're playing really well too. They're only uh, one and a half games back behind the Blue Jays, or behind the Yankees that is. And then the Rays, 12 and 10. Red Sox, nine and 14. Baltimore Orioles, eight and 14. Yeah, the Twins are 13 and nine. Nine and one in their last 10 games on a little two game winning streak as well. So they're they're playing they're playing really well. Guardians are ten and two. White Sox nine and thirteen. Tigers and Royals are seven and fourteen. But yeah, Twins the only only team with a winning record in that AL Central. Angels got off to a great start as well. They're fifteen and nine. Seven and three in their last ten. Mariners are twelve and ten. They're a couple games behind the Angels. Then the Astros eleven and eleven. A's ten and twelve. Rangers eight and fourteen. Although the Rangers just put together a little two-game winning streak. There's nothing too surprising. In the in the AL standings, except maybe uh, maybe the Twins, I guess. But the Twins were a, like a playoff team a few years ago, and then I feel like they took a few steps back. But I think they got they got some some guys that are healthy again. So they're, they're playing some good baseball. It's Tom Seaver. Tom Terrific to 500. It's Kyle Tucker to 2022. Right, could have been last year, right, Terry, if Buxton didn't get hurt? If those guys like him can stay healthy, that'll be that'll be great. Here is Matt Vierling for the Phillies. That is going to be for Barry Roberts in the fight in Phils. And there is the babe, the fire emoji to 75 for the Yankees. That's going to go to Justin. Mookie Betts unleashed to 149. Syndergaard to 2022. Did Syndergaard make a... He was out sick. Non-COVID related sickness. I think maybe he's pitching tomorrow, I think. Let's make another start in the next couple days or so. And there's still Rangers edition of Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That's uh, to 50. I get it. In the United States, 50 states. Parallel out of 50. I get it. Pops. And there's Jason Dominguez. Bit of the Yankees pinstripe on the bottom. Justin with that one. Yachty. O'Neill Cruz to 2022. Statue of Liberty, I think those are one per box. Mike Piazza to 9.99. Unleashed, that's a Mets edition. Ooh, and a plate. I was just gonna say, I wonder if we're gonna get any train whistles out of here. We've got a non-auto printing plate for somebody. There's Jose Barrios to 2022. Burt Blylevin. And it's going to be for Arizona. Luis Frias. 
Nice one of one plate going to Jacob Glenn and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Jacob, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. The Wander Franco rated rookie for the Rays. Jacob Stallings, 2022. And there's a Marvels Mike Trout to 9.99. That is for Ryan and the Angels. I'm sure the I'm sure like the one of one version of this would be pretty incredible. There you go, nice Mike Trout. There's Mike Trout again, Diamond Kings to 2022. Ramil Reyes in 2022. And we've got Connor Wong. Signature series autograph for Boston. That's going to be for Calvin and the Bo Sox. And there's Vlad Guerrero Sr. Angels edition. All right, we are uh, halfway through this break, so I think we're about 30 minutes into this video, so I think we've got another half an hour or so to go. Second half available in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to run this back tonight. Let's take a look at the NL standings. Mets. 16 and 7. Great great start to the season for them. And they've got they've won uh, 7 of their last 10. So I think this is the kind of season the Mets expected last season. And they're doing this without Jacob DeGrom. So imagine when Jacob DeGrom gets back into that rotation. That could be that could be huge for them. Marlins in second place, 12 and nine. They've won eight of their last 10. Phillies are 11 and two. Braves 10 and 13. I'm sure the addition of Ronald Acuna Jr. is gonna help them out. Nationals eight and 16. They're kind of figuring out a little bit of a rebuild there. They've got some key pieces. TJ's looking for Josiah Gray. Former Dodgers prospect, now with the Nationals. I think he had a good start the other day. Just like a lot of young pitchers, if he keeps his walks down, I mean, I think that's going to be a big key for him. NL Central, Brewers are leading the NL Central, 15 and 8. Won seven of their last 10. Cardinals are game and a half behind him, 13 and 9. And then 9 and 13 for the uh, Pirates, 9 and 13 for the Cubs, and Three and nineteen for the for the Reds. Oof. It's a rough, rough season for the Reds so far. They've lost six in a row. One of their last nine. Yeah, I think in what five six innings of work, something like that. Only gave up one hit for Josiah Gray. All right. Next spot, Tommy John for John Means, so hopefully he'll come back strong. There's Bregman to 2022. We got a bomb squad, Salvador Perez to 999. And here's another whammy. So maybe not necessarily a one per case, but I think still short printed. Marcus Simeon. John McCall with the Rangers. Oh, 
when that Arenado was to one uh, to one oh five, by the way. It's Boston edition of Babe Ruth, by the way. Yeah, TJ's recalling that Josiah Gray was lights out in twenty eighteen when the drillers Dodgers double A team won the uh, won it all. Shane Boz to twenty twenty two. Zach Wheeler to two uh, to five hundred that is, and we've got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. unleashed to nine ninety nine. Kevin Gossman to twenty twenty two. If I happen to miss any numbered cards here, ladies and gentlemen, don't panic or. Uh, our top-notch shipping team will be able to will spot those and pull those while they're sorting everything out. There's Hassan Kim for the Padres. That's going to be for Travis and the Friars. He's been having a decent season this year. There's Will Smith. 2022 for the Dodgers. And we got a Henry Davis graded prospect to 249 for the Pirates. Omar Navarez to Spencer Strider, 2022 for Atlanta. And Fernando Tatis Jr., piece of his jersey, going to Travis and the Friars, the uh, motorcyclist Fernando Tatis Jr. Pete Alonso to 2022. We got Elite Series, Trevor Story to 349. Tommy Edmond to 46. I'm not sure what that uh not sure what that emoji is in the background there. But to 46 nonetheless. There's the babe. Jared Kalanick to 2022. And there is Tony Santillan. Or Santian. Going to Cincinnati. That'll be for Jeremy and the Red Legs. All right, three more boxes to go. Almost there. Toasting here. Second half of this is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to check that out. Um, 
I don't think we covered the NL West yet. Do my Dodgers leading by percentage points. They're 14 and 7 on the season. Padres are 15 and 8. They've been playing really well. Giants are 14 and 8. Rockies are 13 and 9. And even the Diamondbacks, they've got 10 wins. They're 10 and 13. That's a yeah, one through four. I don't know who's gonna. And the Rockies are a little bit of a surprise. You know, I don't know if they're gonna be able to keep that up this season. But yeah, I mean, top three could be interchangeable. Dodgers, Padres, Giants could be interchangeable. Yeah, definitely Terry, but unfortunately that did not work out. Some other stats we can look at here. Run differential is all, always an interesting sign. Always something to look at. I think the Dodgers lead the league in run differential. They're a plus 47. Um, I think the Giants have a plus 34 run differential. Mets have plus 37. The Dodgers lead the league with plus 47. Looks like the Yankees are second with plus 41 on run differential. Yeah, and then third is the uh, third is the Mets with plus 37 on the run differential. So those those teams doing well. All right, next box. Welker, Vlad Guerrero Jr. 2022, Jordan Alvarez to 2022, and a redemption. Uh, any guesses on the redemption? I feel like it could be anybody. Vlad Guerrero Sr. to 366. Xander Bogarts, Dominators, to $9.99. Tyler Glasnow, to $20.22. We got Sheldon Noisy, Dodgers edition, for Jacob. Ooh. TJ guessing Wander Franco. He's a redemption in this Donruss baseball. That would make that would make Matt Eaton very happy, I'm sure. If that's the case. for the Angels to 2022. By the way, these blue parallels are not numbered, kind of why I'm breezing by them, but they will ship. There's Tyler O'Neill, trending, that's to 99. There's Robbie Ray to 500. Terry saying Pete Alonzo, also a redemption. That would make that would make TJ very happy. TJ has the Mets. Willie Stargell to 2022. Javier Baez. 
Any other guesses for bragging rights? Is Manny Machado to 2022? Unleashed Bryce Harper, 349. Craig Vigio. Jorge Polanco, 2022. With Merrifield keeping it 100. We got Jameson Tyon, 82 out of 99 for the Yankees. That's going to go to Justin. Paul's guessing Juan Soto. Greg's guessing Bobby Wood Jr. for the redemption. Liam Hendricks to 2022. Anthony Rizzo to 999, Elite Series. Eli Morgan to 2022, Jared Kalanick. All right, good luck. Redemption is Signature Series, card 20. W A N D E R Franco. Wander Franco signature series autograph for Matt Eaton, Tampa Bay Rays, last spot mojo strikes again. They say 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Congrats. TJ, guessing the, uh, guessing the redemption correctly. Nice one, TJ. Nice one, Matt. Thanks for grabbing the uh, the race straight up. We were just sitting there for anyone to grab. Scared money don't make money. There you go. Nice. Two boxes to go. And we'll give away some boxes. See you, Jesus. Thanks, man. Let's look up how Wander Franco is uh, is doing this season. So so far this season, over. 20 games, almost 83 at bats, 83 at bats. He's hitting 313, on base percentage 333, slugging 578, OPS 912. That's pretty good. He's already got a war of 1.2. 26 hits, eight doubles already, a triple, four home runs, 13 RBIs, a few walks, and a few stolen bases too. This guy's pretty good. What's he, what's he on pace for? I'm looking at the ESPN pro, profile page. Yeah, he's on pace for 30 home runs. He's on pace for 100 runs scored, almost 200 hits, 191. If, if he keeps it, I know small sample size, but still, if he keeps it up, 191 hits and no injuries. 59 doubles. I don't know if that's, I don't know if he's going to get 59 doubles. Uh, I don't know, that's almost like record number of doubles, but... He's on pace for it as of now. He's on pace for seven triples. It's a lot too, but hey, it could happen. Uh, and yeah, 29 home runs according to ESPN, about 96 RBIs and 66 stolen bases. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> You're not gonna, I don't think they'll let him run that much. But yeah, if he gets 200 hits, 30 homers, 
Maybe steals 30 bases? 30-30 club with 200 hits? Woo! I mean, sometimes, you know, just, just because of the team that he plays for, I mean, imagine if he was a Yankee or something like that. I mean, I mean I'm sure his cards do well now, but I'm, if he was a Yankee, <laughs> that card would be through the roof, I would, I would guess, if he was on that pace. All right, second to last box. We're almost there. Carlos Correa to 2022. I think I felt a relic. Is there a relic back here? There is. Chrome zone, piece of his lumber. 87 out of 99 for Travis and the Padres. To 2022, Tyler McGill. We got a Bomb Squad Blue. A little color match there. 206 out of 249, Salvador Perez. Jeremy with the Royals. It's a cool looking card. There's Ichiro to 372. Blake Snell. Jim Tomei to 500. And we got a O'Neill Cruz autograph for the Pirates. That's going to go to Jeremy H. in Pittsburgh. Luis Castillo to 2022. This is, this is the ink that TJ is looking for. There's Mike Trout Unleashed to $9.99. Trey Turner, the 2022. I think he still has a, a extensive on-base streak going, dating back to last season. Second half of this box. It was Juan Soto to 2022. And we've got a Alejo Lopez, 14 out of 99 signature series autograph for Jeremy Harder and the Red Legs. So back to back autos for Jeremy. He's heating up. Chris Flexen to 2022. We got a Jacob deGrom, Marvels to 9.99. TJ with the Mets. If he comes back soon, comes back strong. That'd be good for the hobby. Jose Ramirez to 2022. Logan Gilbert having a nice season. Bo Flows. Sal Perez, Diamond Kings insert to 2022. Logan Gilbert keeping it 100. There you go, that's for Seattle, that's for John McCall. There's a Wander Franco rated rookie card for Matt and the Rays. We've got a Nicholas Castellanos to 999 Bomb Squad. Jose Ramirez to 2022. And Jim Tomei back there. Final box coming up.
Looking at some stats here, according to ESPN as of now, stat leaders. Um, Taylor Ward is leading all of baseball in batting average. He's hitting 390. Again, small sample size, just a month in, but that's a good start for Taylor Ward batting 390. Eric Hosmer is batting 382, Machado batting 375, JP Crawford hitting 372, Xander Bogart's hitting 369. Got a number of pitchers tied at four wins. Musgrove, Scherzer, Logan Gilbert, Tyler McGill, Alec Manoa. What about home runs? Rizzo leading all of baseball. Nine home runs. CJ Crone with eight, tied with Aaron Judge. Buxton has seven. Jose Ramirez has seven. Jose Ramirez also has 28 RBIs. Rizzo has 21. Crone has 21. Ty France with 21. Ty France hitting well, too. Starling Marte with 18 RBIs. Machado leads the league with 33 hits. Bogart, 31. Hosmer, Crawford, and Devers, all 29 each. Your stolen base leader? In all of baseball, Julio Rodriguez, who just recently hit his first home run, too, I think. He was like a 450-foot bomb or something like that. But he's got nine stolen bases, too. Jorge Mateo has seven. Harrison Bader has six. Adalberto Mondesi has five. Miles Straw has five. For your pitchers, Pablo Lopez leads the league in, R in ERA with a 0 0.39 ERA. This must be qualified pitchers, I would, I'm assuming. Logan Gilbert, talking about him, has a 0.64 ERA. Kyle Wright has a 113 ERA. Carlos Rodon with a 117 ERA. Joe Ryan with a 117 ERA. Jordan Romano already has 11 saves. Josh Hader with double digit saves too. He has 10. Taylor Rogers with nine. Daniel Bard. Closing things for Colorado has six. And Anthony Bender, Miami closer, has six. Corbin Burns leading the league with 43 Ks. Scherzer, Shane McClanahan with 42 each. Gossman has 41 strikeouts. D Dylan Cease has 39 strikeouts. Although Cease had a start today. I don't know if these stats are updated to re reflect. I think he had 11 strikeouts today. Musgrove, Darvish, Manea, Corbin Burns, Logan Webb, all with at least four quality starts. Joe Musgrove has five. Those are your leaders, and here is the last box. Good luck, everybody. Got Diamond Kings, uh, Cedric Mullins, 175. There's a Nukbar to 2022. Got Max Muncy trending to 149 for the Dodgers. All right, Joe. All right, Thomas. Later. See you, Chris. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Nice. Uh, I think I'm going to come help out with some of the uh, Bowman stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we could use the help. Wednesday's going to be a busy day, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-order your teams now. Jose Abreu to 2022. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. A lot of baseball, a lot of football. There's Dylan Carlson, piece of his jersey for the STL. That's going to go to Calvin and the Cardinals. Sweet Lou Brock, 32 out of 50. Jacob DeGrom for the Mets, Dominators to, uh, looks like 9.99. Kike to 2022. And the second half of the final box, the second half of this break, another eight boxes in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to get at it. It's Tyler O'Neill to 2022. 
2022. It's Ty France, he's having a good year. And we've got for Kansas City, Signature Series, John uh, Hazley. For Jeremy and the Royals. Luis Garcia to 2022. Got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Bomb Squad to 999. Justin Turner to 2022. Tom Seaver to 500. And there's a Josiah Gray autograph. There it is, TJ. As for the Nationals, TJ with the Washington Nats. 88 retro autograph. Nice. You're welcome, man. You got him. Got him. Here's Mike Piazza, Mets edition, unleashed insert to 249. Might be it for the hits, right? Just numbered cards, Corbin Burns. And a couple Bryce Harpers right here. So TJ gets the last autograph of, of the break. Great. So we'll do a uh, autograph and relic recap in just a mo, but let's give away uh, these boxes. I don't think I, I don't have any other randomizer to do. We didn't see any of the none category, so let's go back to the list right over there. Now, once again, like many of our uh, promos, if you bought at least an even number of teams, half of those become entries. Top three win a box of Donner's Baseball, one box each. We'll ship it to you sealed. That they, if, you, if you're one of the winners, they may ship, they probably will ship separately from like the hits you got in your break, if any. So just keep that in mind. So those will usually trail the hits. We usually get, try to get the hits out, out to you first. All right, so let's uh, sort by, let's sort alphabetically. This makes it a little bit easier for me. So Barry bought two teams, that's an entry. Calvin bought two, that's an entry. Emma bought two, that's an entry. Jacob bought four, that's two entries. Jeremy bought four, that's two entries. Jeremy Port bought two, that's an entry. John bought two, that's an entry. Matt with just one, but Nancy bought two, that's an entry. Ryan with two, that's an entry. TJ with two, that's an entry. And Travis with four, that's two entries. All right, so I got Travis, TJ, Ryan, Nancy, John, JP, JH, JG, Emma, Calvin, Barry. We did that right, right? Oh, okay. All right, so 14 spots. Top three of the 14 will get a sealed box of Donner's Baseball, and you can, uh, you can sell it if you want to. You can rip it yourself and have a little fun if you want to. Whatever you want, it'll be yours. So let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a four, lucky seven times. Top three after seven, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, Six and fingers crossed, seventh and final time after seven. We've got Jeremy H, TJ, and Jacob. A sealed box each going your way. Recap. So from back to front, Josiah Gray, Wander Franco, some net, uh, some not net marvels, just diamond marvels. Net marvels is basketball. The Wander Franco redemption. It was pretty nice. 
a whammy, Marcus Simeon. Another Diamond Marvels, Mike Trout, Wander Franco, a little train whistle with that plate. Hey, no problem, TJ. Thank you for getting in. Appreciate it. Another Wander Franco rated rookie card. And we started off with that nice uh, Vlad Jr. whammy. I think these are shorter printed and pretty desirable. There you have it, folks. That was 2022 Panini Donners Baseball Hobby Edition. Eight box. Pick your team number one. Second half in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.